I was gonna do this outside. I was gonna do this in beautiful Tahoe, and I am in beautiful Tahoe now. I'm in a TJ Maxx parking lot, but we have a local fire 20 miles down the road. It's really bad in Reno and Sparks. I thought it was gonna be, since Tahoe's a little bit higher, I thought it was gonna be a little bit easier. It's not, it's horrible out here. The smell is intense. Let me see if I can even show you guys. Um, I don't even know if you can see anything, but that's all, it looks like it's all foggy, right? And that's all smoke in the air, and it is not chill. Uh, but that's not gonna stop me from making this video. Uh, this is a continuation of um, why I use certain lenses. I get a lot of questions on social media, on YouTube, on why, how did you choose that lens for that shot? Why did you choose that lens? What's in your kit? So I, I'm deciding to go through all of my lenses um, and, and talk about it. Um, so today we're gonna be talking about my favorite lens right now, which I should, should be like a kit for everybody, is uh, the 35 mil. And we're gonna talk about this right now. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Jeremy with Jeremy Lou Photography. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, if you're new, subscribe. Video helps you anyway, give it a thumbs up, and then that bell gives you uh, notifications every time I do a new video. So um, this video is also sponsored by an amazing company called Zenfolio. You can find a link um, of, and a description of them and a coupon code to save 40% off your first year. Basically, it's an amazing way to have a website and store as many photos or videos as you want um, without having to pay extra. And then you can share those with other people as well. So check them out. They've been really good to me and I've used them ever since I've started my career. And this is how I deliver photos to all my friends and family and clients. Um, guys, so I use the Sigma series, if you guys didn't know, the Sigma Art. And um, I'm gonna keep saying that until I stop using it. And um, the reason I did is I switched over to mirrorless camera. I'm using an adapter here. And I recently just put a deposit down, a large deposit on five new lenses and they're just not all ready yet, so they're slowly coming. So while I'm doing that, I'm still gonna work on this kit. These lenses are still beautiful and amazing. They're gonna do great jobs. I just decided to upgrade my game a little bit, being a professional photographer. So guys, the 35 mil is um, a little bit wider than what our eye sees, right? So the easiest way to think of it is our eye sees about 50 millimeters, or a 50, um, you know, like a, when you're shooting with like a 50 millimeter lens or something. So when whatever I'm seeing in that range is about 50 millimeters. What a 35 does is it just gives me a little bit more room. It just gives me a little bit wider space to see. Um, so it creates a small bit of distortion on the edges, but it actually creates this really cool illusion-like look when you're shooting portraits or people. Um, if you shoot vertical on these, like, you know, vertical on these, you will create some distortion on the head on top and bottom. But if you shoot it like you are right now, then it wouldn't be fine. For example, this is a wider angle lens. See how the distortion happens on the side there? But as I come back towards the center, the distortion kind of goes away. Something to remember. So theoretically, 35 is not really a traditional portrait lens. I, don't, I wouldn't use this for like a headshot, um, you know, if they need a vertical headshot. But I would use this for an actor headshot where I can shoot horizontally and down and, uh, and kind of get a great perspective. This is also my go-to lens for, for vacations right now, guys. Um, I'm a prime shooter right now, and um, I need a lens that I just want to leave on all the time, never have to take off. We just got back from Disneyland two days ago in Huntington Beach, and this was the, the lens that I did, and guess what? It was freaking amazing. It was close enough that I could shoot my family in front of me and also wide enough that I could get some really cool wide shots if I needed to. Um, but also just walking around, it's a super fast lens. Yes, is a Sigma Art 35 millimeter. When I bought it, it was around $900. Now they're like 600. I mean, it's gotten so much cheaper. And Sigma is a great company. They're just a third party lens that doesn't have the Canon name or, Ny or Nikon name um, and that they make it for both. Um, this lens is also what I use for group portraits as well. If I need to get, <laughs> I don't know what happened there, smoke. Um, for group portraits, I need to get a little bit back. And um, I use it for a lot of action stuff as well because it is so quick. So if I have kids running around and I don't really want that wide, wide look, um, I kind of go for this. Um, children smiling, kids together. Uh, beauty portraits, uh, you know, shoot, focusing on the eyes, it's tack sharp on the eyes. 35 is just that classic way, and yes, the 35 is a classic 
focal length. Um, but this Sigma right here, this is kind of like what you're going to need for everything. I typically don't shoot with the hood on. Actually, I don't shoot with the hood on. That's why you see it here. Just, just like this. But the lens itself for the Sigma is pretty small, guys. I mean, it's, it's pretty small. It's pretty lightweight. And um, it does a great job. So that's a continuation. I'm going to throw some photos here for you guys of just this lens that I've used. Um, editing in Lightroom and shot probably with this R6. And, uh, but you know, if you can tell the different cameras, that's cool. But this lens, I would say has to be in your kit. Um, especially if you're a prime shooter, this is a focal length to do it. Um, I mean, at the wet, I just shot a wedding yesterday and it was on my body. Um, I had a 7,200 on one body and this was on my body about 90% of the time. And I just switched it out for a couple other things, but it's kind of your go-to. It's kind of my go-to. So this is a great lens. So when people say, what lens do I need for a wedding? What three lenses? Like this is on that for sure. Anyways, hope you guys are doing good. I'm going to make this trek over here and uh, that smoke. I'll talk to you guys next time.